Intern! I have fantastic news! Not only is this bathroom actually spotless, which makes me very happy to find out, but we have a gigantic donation! Whoop! And lots of babies being born! Those would be some new fishies. Oh, look how happy everybody is over there too. Oh, this is just wonderful! But we have a gigantic donation for the sake of some amazing goblin sharks. So right here is probably- oh, oh, oh! Hello, shark tunnel! Aren't you looking fabulous? Look at this, look at this. Mm-hmm. Got the nice music, got some whale sounds playing in the background. This is totally inspirational to people, but not if they turn and look and see a filter. We've got to take care of that in turn. All right, we're going to have to hide this filter right here. And let's do that in the usual way of how we hide filters. Let's see, didn't we put some filters on this over here, though? Ah, then we can just get rid of that one. Wonderful. However, it would probably be pretty nice if we could put something decorative. Oops, what did we just do? Oh, there's multiple filters. Oh, that scared me for a second. But it would be pretty nice if we could put something decorative over here because this is going to be our new project area. Let's see. Where does the whale mouth open up to? See how quickly we get distracted, intern? I'm trying to tell you about how we have a new grant so that we can actually put in some goblin sharks. And the next thing you know... The next thing you know, I'm wrestling with this bathroom. Get over here, bathroom. Come on. We'll go there for now. Just for now. And then we're gonna flatten the terrain over here. And a little bit of smooth, smooth. Uh-huh, there we go. And then right over here is where we are probably going to put our goblin shark exhibit. And I've been thinking pretty carefully about this and I think we're gonna do it another tunnel exhibit. Even though we have a tunnel right here with our blue well hall, we're gonna have another tunnel because the goblin shark is really a creature best viewed when you feel like you are deep under the ocean. And I really want people to take that away from being able to come over here and look at our goblin shark. So we will work on that in just a second in turn, but I have been sidetracked by an opportunity to go into our greenhouse as usual. Now we want to make sure that we get this nice and even. So let's line this up. All right, here's the center of the well's mouth. And we're just gonna go ahead and be bold and take four whole spots. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Oh yeah, maybe we can put another aquarium down. That would probably be pretty nice. But how are you doing today, intern? I am uh, smelling of fish and my fingers are quite raisiny from being in the water so much. But it looks like Lass's pregnancy is going along very well, so we should have a new pilot well pretty soon, which makes me happy. Because pilot wells are extremely social. They really like to hang out in big groups. Big groups. And you know what I mean when I say big groups in turn? I mean hundreds. So it's a very good thing that Lass is going to have her first baby. I know that's going to make everybody over there very happy. Are you getting impatient? Let's get some of you guys in here. Hmm. I think I might need to take out some of you. Whoops. Okay. Intern, that's not quite what we wanted. <laughs> that's called getting a little bit ambitious. In, in not such a good way. Oh dear. Alright, let's go over here. Kind of tighten this up. Maybe we should put in the impatience first. How about we try that tactic? That'll probably work a little bit better. Let's put in our big guys first, our tree ferns. Um, you know, we really might stick another aquarium right here because that's very good educational resources for our guests. All right, we want to very carefully line this tree fern up just right. I want it to be nice and even. Yes, perfect. All right, now we're gonna put another one right over here. <sighs> no, it's not even. Normally, we go for a more organic look, and speaking of tree ferns, we still need to decorate the rest of this. We'll get to that eventually. Don't worry, intern. Don't worry. But yes, the coral reef, ever since I remembered to add, and thank you for letting me know, intern, uh, the male fish has taken off spectacularly. They are quite excited. Aha, you're not even again. See, this is why I should come down. And right there. Perfect. Perfect. But yes, ever since I've added the male fish in, which was in large part thanks to you reminding me in turn, I don't know how I overlooked that, but I did. Uh, everyone's been doing great. We've had lots and lots of babies. The speckled eel fin, speckled fin eel even, <laughs> should be giving birth any moment. I can't remember if she gives birth or lays eggs, which is bad of me. But you know, you can't keep everything in your head all the time. That's what, that's what you know, Google and Wikipedia are for. Don't look at me like that, intern. I know how you fill out your, your research papers for your classes. How are your research papers going, by the way? 
In fact, intern, why don't you go ahead and tell me what is your favorite animal in the zoo right now? Out of everything we have, what is the thing that you're most in love with? Maybe I'll be able to give you a little bit of extra time and attention with that particular species. You know, you work really hard and I appreciate all the help you give me, so eh, if we have time for you to interact with your favorite species, well then I'm not going to hold you back. Sword ferns over here. Oh, I love these guys. Mm hmm. Put you guys over here. Good. Much better. Now it looks like the whale is eating those yummy trees. Isn't that fantastic? Nom 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 nom. There you go, Mr. Whale. And what? Let's see. Let's do. In fact, this may seem silly. Aquarium with jellyfish. Aquarium with seahorses. Hmm. All right, in turn, we're going to actually get rid of these benches because they are not very aquatic based and yeah they're more for the other side of the zoo and we'll put in more of these benches and we'll you know we can put in let's pop this one right here uh pop this one right here and this gift cart the marine gift cart we will actually move right here i think that'll do really well right there and let's go ahead and look at what kind of other aquariums we have available to us and then we'll get to work on our fantastic, spectacular, absolutely awesome exhibit for the goblin shark. At least I hope it's going to be a fantastic, awesome, all of the above. Let's see, where, oh where? You know, I always have such a hard time with finding, where are those darn little, I don't think they're in here, are they, intern? They're under here, aren't they? Our little educational exhibits. And you know, outside the, the goblin shark exhibit we could probably add some more headphones because those will work well ha there they are all right so let's see what our options are here face painting aquarium with tropical fish that seems suiting it can be a more up close look to some of the tropical fish that are available in the reef exhibit so we'll go ahead and sink a little bit of researching into that and then we're going to stare at this area it's barren. It's empty. It's a chaotic mess over here with the jellyfish being silly and, and our, our whales being somewhat neglected. Speaking of neglected whales, if we have any money left over, we will get you a partner, Duchess. Don't worry. I promise. I promise. His name will be Duke, because that will be very fitting. Hmm. So we want to give our goblin shark a nice big exhibit over here, and we'll make kind of a cool little tunnel area, and we can even put the, the restroom over here and, and close the restroom for once. I think that would be a kind of cool thing to do. Or we could do another small exhibit, maybe for that sea snake or another species of, of animal somehow. So we'll think about that. So let's learn a little bit more about our goblin shark, who's going to be our buddy. Mm. Come here, goblin shark. What are we going to do with you? Mm-hmm. It's a deep water shark that rarely is seen in the shallow coastal waters or anywhere on the surface of the ocean. Its skin is pinkish white with blue fins, and it has a long, flat nose that protrudes separately from its very large mouth. It is also a fairly large shark. Males have been measured at over 3.8 meters, or 12.5 feet. It feeds on other bottom-dwelling animals, shrimps, octopus, squid, and sometimes even crabs. Because it stays in deep water, it almost never comes into contact with humans in the wild. The goblin shark is thought to be globally dispersed. Actual sightings of the species have come off the coast of Japan, Australia, and Southern Africa. Woo! So really, that's quite the wide distribution. The goblin shark is so named because, frankly, it is really ugly. The species name Elstoni comes from Alan Alstone, a Victorian British naturalist, who probably got credit for discovering these guys. Oh, and they're so cool looking. Can you imagine what it would have been like to be the very first person to find a goblin shark, though? How disconcerting his not-so-attractive appearance must have been. So we will go ahead... Ooh, Sally has given birth. Good. That means we've got some more of our... There we go. Yeah. Okay. That means we have more otters. Which, we're going to take care of the otter side of the zoo. The otter side of the zoo is also a mess. Still. Chaotic mess. But we're doing good. We're slowly repairing the messes. Adding in lots and lots of various exhibits. Lots of interesting things. Lots of places for our guests to relax. We are getting better at this in turn. We are getting much better at this. Our great white shark is going to have pups soon. We're going to cover these areas back up eventually. We're going to get this worked out. Check out how hopping the food court is. 
In fact, I think the food court is so hopping that it's messy again. I just don't trust these guys to, to put your trash in your trash can. Look at that. Look at that. Honestly. At least it's only one piece. Ooh, that pretzel looks really good. Mmm. A hot, yummy pretzel. Ah! Wait. It's not like you were right there and that is an empty trash can. Also, why is Nani the second in a crate? Nani the second is not in a crate. Honestly, my zookeepers are text messaging me about all the silliest things. Ah, <sighs> just silly, just silly. All right. Oh, let's make sure that that pea fowl is finding its way to food. Is it you again? Your food is right here, my little friend. Hmm. Woo! Okay, and there we go, and the aquarium research is finished, so let's go ahead and make sure that this little baby... The babies are having a harder time being free-ranging than I thought they would have. But I think we'll be able to pull it off. Let's put some fresh food, some grapes for them right there. And then pick up the little baby, PFAL number 13, and put it right there. That should be able to help it figure out what the heck to do. There's that. All right, and the research for the aquarium with tropical fish is complete. So we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna tuck it. Are you gonna let us? Yeah. Right there. Oh, that's perfect. Isn't that just perfect? Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. That's just gonna be so awesome. Look at this. We've barely been over here and we're already greatly increasing how everything looks. Oh. We are getting very good at this in turn. We are really starting to show some surprising amounts of talent. I mean, I always knew I was talented, but it's always a great thing to see that in your prodigy, you know? And yes, I do consider you my prodigy. Oh, it's an honor that you must bear well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make... Let's see, that should be good. The aquarium. It might not be as big as I was hoping. I really wanted a nice big big tank for the goblin shark. This probably will be adequate though. Yeah, this should probably be adequate. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add... You know what? No, we're gonna take away that wall because I really want people to have to walk in to see the goblin shark. And then they can walk in, and when they do, they can get a glimpse right here of what the goblin shark looks like. There's that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna make this tank nice and deep, really deep, to kind of try to provide a little bit of that deep ocean feel for our little guy. And then let's see if we can enclose a bathroom. Because I think that would be a pretty cool thing to pull off. So let's see, here's a bunch of bathrooms. We're gonna do the underwater themed bathroom. Or actually, maybe we should just do the normal one. So let's just do a normal little bathroom right here. And what we're gonna do... Come here. Mm-hmm. We should be able to enclose that just fine. Make it a little private... private area. There. Just hang with me, intern. I know you must be very confused. But Zookeeper Siri, why are you just throwing up random... Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, we might scooch it, actually. Random walls. Well, trust me, intern. We've got this. We've got this. Almost. It's an experiment, but, you know, I never want to discourage you from trying something new. Don't be afraid to try new things. I'm not going to snap at you if it doesn't work out, you know what I mean? So don't don't be worried if you're a little bit nervous about trying something new. That's normal. Everybody's nervous about trying something new. I'm trying something new right now. And I'm using some of our budget to do it, so yes, it does make me a little bit nervous. Alright, so here is where we're going to have our little pathway. Head. Kind of make a little enclosed bathroom area. Hmm. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. You'll see. You'll see how it's supposed to turn out in just a minute. Intern. All right. Do you have the tile? Good. You're getting so good at this. Getting so good at this. So we're gonna go ahead. I don't know if this is the best thing. If you know, I bet if my my good friend and. Like, see, I'm still learning, because Ben Zoomaster, Zoomaster Ben, is still teaching me so much. He is an excellent tutor. I learn tremendous amounts from him every time we work together. It's quite the privilege and the honor. And he might look at this and go, what the heck are you doing? And have quite a bit to say about what I am doing wrong. 
in terms of trying to set this up. So he might redirect me and that's just fine. The point is I'm trying something new that I think will be good for our zoo and good for everybody involved. All right, so we have the tunnel built and the way this is gonna become a tunnel is when we add a roof to it. We will add a roof in just a bit. First, we wanna make sure that everything is set up for our guest that we wanna have in there. So we have a nice little bathroom kind of tucked in there. And now against these walls, hmm, you know, I wish we had some like cool paintings we could hang against those walls. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some, some benches in here. Yeah, right here will be good. And it looks kind of bland and you know, you know in turn what's coming next, don't you? You know what I like to add. You know what makes me happy. I'm going to try to, in fact, I think I have another idea. Let's go ahead and just take this. Whoops, a little too far, a little too far in turn. I know you got excited pulling up the tile we just put down, but don't get that excited. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. I have an idea. Don't know if it's any good. But we've got, yeah, we've got that little path. All right. We're actually going to raise the tank floor in this one. There we go. And next up, to, to decorate. Like this is this is my plan in turn. I'm gonna see if it works. I don't know if it will. Let me see the coastal. Can I fit you in there? I sure can. Do you fit in there? No. Do you fit in there? Ooh, just barely. But where's my reef rocks? I need my reef rocks. Come here, come here, reef rocks. There we go. Ooh, tight fit. Tight fit. I think it might fit though. Be careful. All right, let's examine. Ah, oh, dang it. Not quite, not quite. Ooh, small reef rocks. These might fit though. Eee reef rocks. Oh yeah, this should fit. That guy definitely won't fit. <laughs> Ooh, and actually, hmm, no, okay. We'll focus on one thing at a time and turn one thing at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and put in some small reef rocks. Just a couple, cause that's all that'll fit. And then we will decorate with some reef plants. See, here's a feather star. We can fit in a feather star. And we can add a giant barrel sponge. That's really cool. Maybe even, ooh, in fact, we could probably take out this little guy and put in a table coral. Come on. Oh, but you're not on land. It's stubborn. Ooh, look at this giant guy. Oh, that cute little one. Look at that cute little guy. I want to put a couple of them in here. We could add a good brain coral. Add more anemones. Anemones are pretty cool. This giant blue, blue green coral would be really nice in here. See, we're making a little coral exhibit. And it's just kind of to add the decorative touch, decorative look to everything. No, being stubborn. Ooh, look at that sea whip. That sea whip would be an excellent complimentary little, little piece, but it doesn't want to fit in. Too big, too big, that's okay. And we can add a blue sea star. And yeah, some of these guys. Ooh, a little urchin. Urchins are so cute. We'll hide a little urchin in there. Hopefully it won't eat our sea star. Add in some more of the coral. Let's see, we just kind of hand place some of the coral in here. Oh, and it's looking good. It's looking really good. See, I knew we could do this. And it makes a nice little backdrop because we didn't really have a picture or anything to hang on us at least. All right, put a little bit more coral over here. And another little sea star maybe. Nope, can't see it, so it's probably okay. And then, just as a finishing touch, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's my coastal? There we go. No, not the eelgrass. No. Kelp forest. Almost. Can we make this happen? Carefully. Just to kind of compliment how tall the coral is on the other side. 
Almost there, almost there. Just gotta scooch these guys over a little bit so they don't peek. There's that. And then very carefully. There's that. Whoops. Well, we checked up there, nothing floating. Whoops. Oh, the tunnel actually looks really cool up close. Neat. Neat. How are we doing over here? Not bad, not bad. Little tight, little tight. But it's just meant to be a kind of teensy decorative area. Ah, I feel much better now. Good, we've got, oh, that's the last thing I was gonna do. I'm like, now we have something green. It always makes me feel good. And we actually have green things in pots if I can locate them. So let me see, where's our green things in pots? Hmm, not there, not here. Not, oh, 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 here they are. Look at those. Look at these beautiful things. Okay, so we can put, let's see, ooh, they're not as big as I thought they were. I thought they were a little bit bigger. Can I just kinda, yeah, I can just kinda tuck you right there. And you're just gonna have to be good over here, sir, I think. Unless, aha, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there, that's a little bit better. All right, so there's at least some green things. And let's go ahead and add our goblin shark, now that the new area is built. Man, I'm pretty proud of this area too. We are just on a roll in turn. We are on absolute roll. <gasps> Look at this bird. Oh, we definitely need to add this bird to some of our coastal areas. Breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Is this a sandpiper? No, it's not. Oh, I thought I was gonna faint. I was like, sandpiper, no way. All right, we'll work on that later. For now, it's time to make sure that our goblin shark enclosure is fully appropriate for a goblin shark. There. Nice deep sea area that we have going now. Gonna make sure we have some squid in here. Good, 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 good. We're gonna make sure we have some artificial reef with some shellfish. There's not really gonna be anything decorating this area though. We'll add a little, little clam bubbler for its entertainment. Doesn't need a shelter. Pretty much we'll just have like a few, just to, like this is hard for me sometimes. This is why I had to do the, the co coral reef because there's not really anything to add. There's a few deep sea anemone. There's a little bit of like algae that we can kind of sprinkle along here. There we go, yeah, that's good. And there's some rocks. Okay, we'll put like a rock over here actually kind of break up the, the area, but otherwise we want to leave it really open. So this guy is good to go, really good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and put the top on our, our area here. We want to make sure to take care of our critter because we do tend to forget these in the excitement of adding our critters in turn, but we want to make sure we leave an area in the back and that we add a filter, which we can actually tuck back here. There we go. And that should take care of him, there. And now let's put the top on the tunnel. Do do do, there we go. And where's my tunnel tops? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, is that right? I think that's right. Where is it? Nope. Yep. All right, and we go ahead and we add the top to the tunnel, just like this. And we're getting very good at this too. We need to leave a gap up there. Oh, I said we're getting very good and then it just gets a little bit chaotic, but we can do this. Hang in there in turn. I know it's a little bit interesting trying to balance up here. Come on, we got this. Almost. Overshot it just a teeny bit. Don't get stressed, don't get stressed. See, we've got this, we've got this covered. Note to self, it doesn't look so good when it curves, that's fine. We'll tend to that later. Almost there, almost there. Down here, good, good, good. And you know, the reason that we're putting the goblin shark here is so that it can transition, pardon me, from the prehistoric ancient waters hall into the whale hall. And like, we'll add some more sharks over here too. We've got our shark tunnel area uh, with our great whites. But you know, we'll add a few other sharks over here. And the goblin shark just looks so cool. All right, there's that. Almost there. Come on. 
Okay, that's pretty close. Points for trying, points for trying. A for effort. And then almost there. Okay, nope. Little bit, little bit over, little bit over the mark. Still, still kind of dancing around here. Like I said, points for trying. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's just let's just tidy this up a little bit. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. Let's check it out. You know, it would it would help to check it out if we actually added our goblin sharks. There we go. We'll add two because that's what we were given the donation grant for. So two goblin sharks. And let's go climb down here. Oh, oh, hello tree. How are you doing, palm tree? Hug, hug for the palm tree and moving on. All right, the tunnel looks good. Everything looks like it lined up okay. Everything's flush with itself. Speaking of flush, here's our restroom. I like how it's kind of hidden away inside the tunnel like this. And what do our goblin sharks think of the area? Huh, I see a tail. Oh, oh. I still see a tail! Come on up! <gasps> Look at him! Oh yeah, this tank should be plenty big enough for these guys. Good! Let's jump down inside and see how they're doing. Alright, and almost there. Alright, can I get in? Nope, almost, almost. We might have to climb in the back. Scoot, scoot. And... Splash? Ah, uh, no. Okay. We're gonna have to like climb up the ladder. That's just fine. Probably safer than trying to dive in from the rooftop. Honestly, safety regulations and all those things. Oops. Okay, here we go. Up the ladder. Ah, oh, that's better. Ooh, look how cool and dark it is in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look at our fantastic goblin sharks. They look amazing. Do you have any clue how awesome you look, Goblin Shark? Do you have any clue? All right, we're gonna give it a good groom, kind of check it over. Where'd it go? Man, it's so dark in here. Wow, look at all the deep sea stuff. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I hope you guys like it. Man, you move fast. I can hardly keep up with you. And I think I saw something a little bit alarming about the Habotus beached on land. No, you're okay. I'm getting the weirdest updates from my zookeepers lately. But there we go. So there's our goblin sharks and their brand new beautiful exhibit. I really love that tunnel idea. I love how we took a little bit of time to make this cool little coral reef thing right here. So you can kind of peek in. You can be like, oh, look at all that. Oh, look at the cute little enemy. Oh, look at the barrel thing. Oh, so awesome. And then you can turn around and be like, wow, look at the goblin sharks. They're fantastic. They're just amazing. Plus, there's a bathroom inside the tunnel, which makes me happy! And green things! And you can see the whale! Oh, things are really coming along, in turn. Things are really coming along. So happy. So happy. Well, I'm going to see what the animals are complaining about with dirty exhibits. And hopefully everything is okay there. And then we will get back to working on some projects in just a bit. But yeah, you take a break and don't forget, in turn. Tell me, what's your favorite animal in the zoo? I want to make sure that we're taking care of that guy too, you know? I mean, we take care of everybody. But, you know, it's just fun to spend some time with your favorite animals now and then, huh? So get back to me on that. I might consider raising the floor on this just a little bit so it's easier to see the goblin sharks. And hopefully when we come back, we will be able to get Duke for Duchess and last we'll have given birth. So we'll keep an eye out on that, yeah? Alright, I'll see you later in turn. Bye-bye!